okay welcome everyone to this video this is going to be a how to install resolution remix 8.7 on the galaxy note 4 okay let's just start straight up open your browser whatever browser you want to use to find the rom and download it just type download resurrection remix that's an abbreviation and uh, resurrection remix rom for the galaxy note 4 exynos and then the first link that usually pops up is uh is the xda link which takes you straight to the xda page where you have the resurrection remix and all other roms that that where you can search for the all roms of you know the galaxy note 4 and other devices popular devices and this one is by adam as you can see this awesome dude and then you can just scroll down as you read through whatever things you want to read through how oh, the rom is stable and yeah by the this is this is a rom which i've not really seen any issues with it at all from using it everything works and I'm, I, I maybe i've not tested everything but i'm very sure everything works and there's there are no bugs for android 10 it's, it's just it, it really does the thing does whatever you want so you scroll down to the download section then you just click on source forge the source forge link opens up then you also come to the this is the source portfolio source forge page where the files of where anand's files are of about the galaxy note 4 that is the galaxy note 4 exynos files as you can see click on the files and then you scroll down to where it says resurrection remix dash q when you find that just just click on the link unofficial after that you will find now make sure you click on that third one the fourth one the fourth one which has 71 downloads it's it's t r e l t e x x that is the that is now it depends on the version that you're using it honestly depends on the version that you're using now for me i say i chose that one because this is the c the nine the this is the the version like the build the how they call it that the code of the device is like 910 910c so if you have other versions just find out which version which you which you code yours is and then you you know which one all of them have code names so just go find out which code name that your device carries and then you download the one which is appropriate for your device and then here yeah, i just sped up the download then you get whatever div the whatever information that you need but this is just reading through articles let's take a look at some pictures and then those are, that's the resolution remix the lock screen that's how it that's how far you can customize it then the default page some customizations and yeah that's pretty much it that's it now after you've finished everything open up now the what we are going to do we are going to go and kind of edit now that you've downloaded the file that you've downloaded the files that you just can't flash it since there are some some bugs so you open where the file is where in your downloads folder extract the file there is a certain property that we are going to edit within the updater script i think many people know what that is as you can see the thing is extracting after that enter into the folder which has been extracted within whatever whatever location you're in and then uh, just double click on it enter inside the folder now you enter into the meta mf meta yeah that that second folder after install yeah then double click on that double click on com go into google android then you edit the updater script within you 
text editor that you have that I think very many people will be using Notepad, so yay. Now, as you see, you have to erase everything that is above the first UI print. The first UI print, everything that is above that has to go for this to be installed successfully. So I just put my cursor at the beginning of the first UI print and then move and erase everything that is that there is above that. After that, save the file. Yeah, find whatever save, wherever save is, you save. After save, close the thing. Then go back to the main folder where, you, where, the, where the files are, the main extracted folder. Go, collect all the files. Sorry, that was a mistake. Collect all the files and then zip them. Create a zip using those files. Compress them into a zip and then make sure, make sure it's .zip. I'm very sure whether it's Windows or it's, there's a, I, I'm, I think there is an option. So you name it whatever you want. And then now here I'm going to name mine is RROM, Galaxy Note 4 abbreviation. And then you create the zip. And then this will take some time. When it's done, it's done. Yeah. And you, you just connect your device. As you can see, I've already connected my Samsung. Android here on, on this um, Zorin OS, they read it, the Zorin OS reads it as Samsung Android. So you open it up and uh, open the, where the file, wherever you want to put the files. But make sure you remember now. If if you have an SD card, you can. Uh, if you have an SD card, you can put it on the SD card. But since I don't have an SD card, I'm just going to put it on the main, the main like the main internal memory. That means. During the erase, when I'm erasing stuff, I am not going to erase internal memory, as we shall see. So now you're just moving them. You move the zip to any location you want within the device, whether it's the SD card or the internal memory. Me, I put it in the internal memory. Then you open up your phone. After opening up your phone, you look for where it is just now this this is this is the the room that you're seeing right now on this device is already the room which is working so i've been using it for some time and uh <laughs> i i why well, i actually want to do a to see just how some games run on this old galaxy note 4 so just comment down below if you if you guys would be interested in that anyway so we uh, just look for the just to confirm i want to show you where i put the files the file i want which is right there remember what we named it that is it okay as if after after confirming which you know the file where the file is you just enter your recovery system recovery system for this galaxy note for is the home button volume up and then the power button Press them together, you enter that. Once you see that red text on top, yay, you, yeah, this it's good. You're doing the thing. Let it load for a bit. Enter TWRP, T Moon Recovery. I don't know what other recovery system is there for Galaxy Note 4. I guess there's a bunch. So you select properly once you're wiping you select exactly what you want to sell to, to wipe because once this this once you wipe the internal memory then you may have to use an sd card there are a bunch of ways to revive it anyway if you accidentally wipe the internal memory which has the rom but once you wipe the internal memory which has the rom all you need to do is get an sd card fix it in the computer or whatever whatever you can find the rom from now here in the PC just get a card reader you install it through the card reader and then that's it now you look for where the ROM is when you're installing just go find where the ROM is make your way around the files of the TWRP go to the home find the ROM then after selecting it just swipe flash and that is basically it now with um, if you have the other um, if you didn't edit the updater script, this will not work. It will not do anything. It will stay the way it is and it will give you an error. I've forgotten what the error is exactly, but it will throw you an error. Now here, the only er error we have is uncommon command, which I have not yet, I've not yet researched to find out what exactly that means, but 
it always comes when I'm flashing rooms on this specific device. Maybe because the ROM is not exactly for this version of the Exynos family or something. I don't know. So yeah, after you flash, now that now you're going to see that that error really doesn't doesn't do much. It's, maybe it's just a warning or something. After that, I think I think it comes because we have removed we have moved the other update uh, everything after the the so the confirmation that takes above the first UI print. I don't know, maybe. But if you leave it, you still get the error and that the div the ROM is meant for the device. So you know those stuff. Yep, that was it. That was actually it. It rebooted faster than I thought it would. And uh, that is the whole thing. So you move around, find your Wi-Fi thing. And you just sign up with your wi Let me see. I don't first try to enter this password business and then you see what happens. Oh, yeah. Done. Okay, yeah. Of course, I sped up the thing. So, uh-huh. Now, just go through the whole setup of the Resurrection Remix and you can still scroll throughout the whole thing. Yeah, then just set up the basic things of the phone. If you want the fingerprint, all these things work by the way. Even the fingerprint itself works on this device, still with this ROM. Uh, the only thing I think, even if you set it up, maybe the face unlock, even if you set it up, it can work, but yeah, you can set it up and it will work properly. I'm going to do another real, real, real review of this whole ROM and how, how, how you can use it properly on this. I don't know how many years, like eight years. Man, this one has been around for some time. I think uh, eight years now. So yeah, fingerprint added. Let's move around throughout the whole thing. But yeah, that is basically it. It's just disturbing in this process. I don't know why it just freaks out. But yeah, that is the device. That is everything that you need to do to get it running on your Galaxy. But for this, this room was developed in by Anan in like 2022. The last update I think was in 2022. So he has, he has, he has taken care of the phone. So yeah, that is basically it. That's that's what the whole thing is all about. And uh, yeah, I think now I can say bye. Thanks for watching, and hope you subscribe if you haven't. And yeah. See you in the next one.